Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we will be talking about the proofs of the derivatives of trigonometric functions. Okay, so we'll start. So suppose our function f of x is given by sine x. So, yan. What happens then? Then our f of x plus h is equal to sine of x plus h. Tama. And then, alam naman natin sa basic trigonometry, di ba? So, I will have a separate scratch here. So, yung sine of a plus b, that's the same as sine of a cosine of b plus cosine of a sine of b. So, mangyayari dito, this is the same as sine of x times cosine of h. Pinaparentesis ko lang yung h to emphasize that that is cosine of h. Baka isipin ng iba that's hyperbolic cosine. So, and then, plus ito ng cosine of x sine of h. Okay. So, anong implication ito? Thus, so anong implication ito? Thus, thus uh, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h mangyayari dito, this is sin x times cosine of h plus cosine x sine of h minus sin x all over h. Tama ba? Okay. So, what's my next step here? And then we can um, rearrange this expression in the right of this equation. Mangyayari, I can have eto i-prepare ko sila yan so i will get cosine x times sine of h over h plus eto naman i will pair this and this pala with the denominator h so mangyayari this is sine x this is sine x so mapapactor out ko yung sine x Ang matitira dito is cosine of h minus 1 all over h. Okay. So, ano yung message dito sa part na to? I can take the limit of both sides of the equation. So, maging limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0. And then, Diba, if magtitake ako ng limit dito, so this is the limit of the sum. And according to our previous video, we already know for a fact that the limit of the sum is equal to the sum of the limit. So, mangyayari, this is limit of um, cosine of x times sine of h over h as h approaches 0 plus limit of sine of x times Pwede ko tong maging negative siya. So, maging 1 minus cosine of h over h. So, mangyayari, this has to have negative here. Okay? So, ano to? Nakikita natin, this is a product of two functions. Tama? This is a product of two functions. And according to our previous video, we have already known that the limit of the product is equal to the product of the limit. So, I can separate them. So, limit of cosine x as h approaches 0 times the limit of sine of h over h as h approaches 0. Plus, this is the limit of sine x as h approaches 0 times the negative of the limit of 1 minus cosine of h over h as h approaches 0. Okay. So, napapansin mo we're done with this already. This one is, we know for a fact this is 0. We know for a fact this is 1. So, ibig sabihin, wala na to. What we left is limit of cosine x. And then, the, that h approaches 0. So, we take for consideration that the cosine x is constant. So the limit of a constant, as we we know already from the previous video, it's the constant, constant itself. So this is cosine of x. So what is the moral of this story? 
The meaning for this, because our f of x is sine of x, ibig sabihin yung derivative pala niya is cosine of x. Therefore, the if f of x is equal to sine of x, the message is f prime of x is equal to cosine of x. That's it. Okay, so suppose our f of x here is equal to cosine of x naman. So kanina, that's sine of x. So, ano implication dito? So, okay, let's uh, double check nga by figure. Di ba napapansin nyo, eh, suppose this is 60 degrees. So, mangyayari, yung cosine of 60 mo, di ba that's the same as sine of 30? So, ibig sabihin, the cosine of 60 is equal to sine of pi over 2 minus x. So, which is x yan. So, ibig sabihin, when x is 60, that's equal to sine of 30. So, when x is 30, the cosine of 30 is sine of 60. So, ibig sabihin, f of x is equal to cosine of x. That's the same of sine of pi over 2 minus x. Diba? So, we can use the previous theorem that we have discussed on the previous video, the chain rule derivative. So, mangyayari dito, then, if we take the derivative of f of x, so, mangyayari, this is, this is, we're taking the derivative of sine. So, di ba, from uh, the previous discussion, yung derivative of sine is cosine. So, this becomes cosine of pi over 2 minus x times the derivative sa loob kasi chain rule tayo. So, ang mangyayari, negative 1 ba? So, this is equal to negative of cosine of pi over 2 minus x. And alam natin that's cosine of pi over 2 minus x, that's equal to sine of x. So, this is negative sine of x. So, the message of this story is that if f of x equals cosine of x, hindi yan f prime pa, cosine of x, then the f prime of x is equal to negative sine of x. That's it. Okay, so suppose our uh, function f of x is equal to tangent of x. So, anong, anong implication nito? Di ba alam naman natin sa trigonometry, the tangent of x is equal to sine of x over cosine of x. So, f of x equals tangent of x. That's the same as sine of x over cosine of x. So, we can still use the previous theorem on our previous video. So, gagamitin natin yung derivative of a quotient. So, mayayari, low di high minus high di low over low square, di ba? So, eto na yung gagawin natin. So, cup Kopyahin mo yung low, so the low di, di high, so derivative nito, minus high di low. So, kopyahin mong high, tapos derivative ng dito. Yan. All over the square of baba. Yan. So, what is this? Cosine of x. What's the derivative of the sine of x. So, alam natin that derivative of the sine of x is cosine of x. Tama ba? And minus sine of x over, what's the derivative of cosine of x? That's negative sine of x. All over cosine squared of x. Yan. So, alam natin that the cosine of x times cosine of x, so that's cosine squared of x, Eto, negative, negative, so magiging sine squared of x over cosine squared of x, which is equal to 1. Kasi di ba, this identity is equal to 1, cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x. So this is uh, cosine squared of x. What is cosine squared of x? Di ba, that's the secant squared of x. So that's equal to secant squared of x. So therefore, the moral of this story is if f of x is equal to tangent of x, then f prime of x is equal to secant squared of x. That's it.
So how about if our function is cotangent of x? So same pa rin. Ang mangyayari dito then f of x is equal to cotangent of x. That's the same as cosine of x over sine of x. Tama? So we still can use the derivative of the quotient. So mangyayari f prime of x is dito. So sine of x times derivative ni cos cosine of x which is negative sine of x minus cosine of x times derivative the sine of x which is cosine of x over sine squared of x. So alam natin to this is negative sine squared of x and this becomes negative cosine squared of x all over sine squared of x. So mangyayari I will factor that out. So, lalabas ko yung negative. So, we have sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x all over sine squared of x, which is equal to negative of 1 over sine squared of x. And what is 1 over sine squared of x? This is negative cosecant squared of x. So, the moral is our f of x is cotangent of x then the derivative is equal to negative cosecant squared of x. That's it. Okay, so how about f of x natin is secant of x? So suppose that f of x is equal to secant of x. So di ba um, your f of x, which is the secant of x, that's equal to 1 over cosine of x. So taking the derivative f prime of x is equal to, so cosine of x, derivative ni, ni 1, which is 0 minus 1, yeah. derivative ni cosine of x, which is sine of x negative yan, all over cosine squared of x. So, ma ano mayayari? So, this becomes 0. The, you have sine of x, tama? And then, what happened? Di ba magiging over cosine of x times 1 over cosine of x. Tama ba? Bali, dalawang cosine, hiniwalay ko lang. So, mangyayari, this one is tangent of x and this one, yung cosine natin reciprocal niya is secant of x. So, therefore, if our f of x is equal to secant of x, yung derivative pala niya is tangent of x secant of x. That's it. Okay, so how about our last identity for trigonometry? So suppose our f of x is cosecant of x. Then, so f of x equals cosecant of x. That's equal to, di ba yan yung 1 over sine of x? So f prime of x, mangyayari this is, Sine of x times 0 minus 1. Derivative ni sine of x, that's cosine of x. All over, ano mangyayari? This is sine squared of x. So I would have negative cosine of x over. Etong sine, hiwalay ko sa mga sine of x times 1 over sine of x. Okay. So that is negative Eto, alam natin, this is cotangent of x. And this sign here is cosecant of x. So therefore, our f prime of x is negative cotangent x, cosecant x. That's it. So same thing happened for a derivative of trigonometric functions. When the derivative of trigonometric functions is a composition also of such two functions. So, ang mangyayari, kunyari, we have, let's say, cosine of u. So, your u here is differentiable at x. So, mangyayari, this is cosine of u. So, the derivative niya is sine of u, negative sine of u. So, same discussion kanina, pero you'll take the derivative of u. Okay. For number 2, if your function is sine of u, so ibig sabihin yung derivative niya is cosine of u derivative ni u. 
And for number 3, same pa rin, tangent of u. So, the derivative niya is secant squared of u times derivative of u. And for number 4, if you have cotangent of u, yung derivative niya is negative cosecant squared of u times derivative of u. And number 5, your secant of u, yung derivative niya is secant u tangent u times derivative of u with respect to x. And number 6, cosecant u, so derivative niya is cosecant u, this is negative cotangent u times derivative of u. That's it. So if you have any question or clarification, please let me know. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or clarification, please let me know so that we can discuss on that. And for those who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. Thank you and have a great day.